Cycle Route 5 over Conway Col is the only crossing over the river for cyclists and walkers. It is heavily used by cyclists for leisure, touring and commuting, as well as by children riding to school. The only alternative is a 10 mile detour. On their mapping, Sustrans, UK's leading authority on cycle networks, confirm an off-road route along the length of the cob. Green indicates off-road, red indicates on-road. Google Maps also show an off-road cycle route, both over the cob to Flandidno Junction and to De Ganwick. Correspondence shows that Conway Town Council has assumed legitimate cyclist use of the footpath when requesting cycle dismount signs. Conway County Borough Council has issued a map of Cycle Route 5 showing it to be entirely on the carriageway over the full length of Conway Bridge and Cobb. The map is however a work of fiction in that it shows a continuous road link between Conway and Llandidno Junction which does not exist. There is no physical carriageway connection from the A547 to Glanamore Road as shown on their map. Environments, roads and facilities of Conway County Borough have erected what they regard as cycle prohibition notices after years of inaction, knowing that many cyclists use the footway over the car. The Department of Transport clearly defines the design of a prohibition sign, including those intended for pedal cycles, as a white circle with a red border showing a black outline of the prohibition. Conway Highways, in their wisdom, have added an additional red diagonal. Although not listed in the Department of Transport Handbook, effectively it could be regarded as an end of prohibition sign. Highways now expect all cyclists to use the carriageway over the entire length of the cob. Their written response into a Freedom of Information request is as follows. I have had reports that the signing of the cycle route along the Cobb in Conway is confusing and will be reviewing the signing. However, it is an offence to cycle on a footway unless the status of that footway has been changed by a legal process. The footway along the Cobb is too narrow to safely accommodate cyclists and pedestrians and cyclists should therefore use the carriageway. On the carriageway, the risk of serious injury or death is in many orders of magnitude greater than would likely be the case between a cyclist and a pedestrian. Have highways carried out any sort of risk analysis to assess the consequence of their myopic policy? Have they done anything to make the carriageway safer? Absolutely not. The following pages highlight key phrases of the authority's written response to the Freedom of Information request. The footway along the Cobb is too narrow to safely accommodate cyclists and pedestrians. Who were they kidding? Are they referring to the same location? With respect to Conway Bridge, the footway immediately on the bridge is far less than ideal, but it is the only off-road alternative. Extracts from the Department of Transport Advisory Leaflet 9-93 relating to a study by the Transport Research Laboratory are as follows. Cyclists respond to pedestrian density, modifying their speed, dismounting and taking other avoiding action where necessary. 
Accidents between pedestrians and cyclists were very rarely generated in pedestrianised areas. Only one pedestrian stroke cyclist accident in 15 site years in the sites studied. Observation revealed no real factors to justify excluding cyclists from pedestrianised areas, suggesting that cycling could be more widely permitted without detriment to pedestrians. The Council expect all cyclists to use the carriageway backing this up with a legislative threat. It is an offence to cycle on a footway and cyclists should, therefore, use the carriageway. They are imposing the ban knowing that cyclists cannot interconnect between the carriageway and Cycle Route 5 in any way that is remotely safe or practicable. The next sequences highlight location by location the hazards of joining and leaving the carriageway at either end of the cob riding on any of the following. Bicycle, tricycle, recumbent, tandem or hand-powered disabled trike, any of which may be pulling a child or luggage trailer. Cyclists on Cycle Route 5, heading towards Slendidno Junction, are expected to join the carriageway at this unsafe location. Cyclists are expected to enter into fast-moving heavy traffic on an uphill gradient at a point where the bridge is at its narrowest. The sight line is unsafe towards fast traffic approaching from Conway. Drivers have four seconds to both see and slow down when a cyclist obstructs their path. This video is in slow motion. Cycle helmets are primarily designed for falls without any other vehicle involved. Cyclists have to make a standing start due to a large cobbled hump. They have to pedal uphill onto the narrow carriageway with the prospect of a vehicle bearing down on them within as little as four seconds. Cyclists must compete with vehicles leaving the quay in the same direction, as well as those turning illegally towards Conway. Joining the carriageway riding uphill Cyclists will be slow and unstable and susceptible to frequent strong crosswinds. The carriageway over Conway Bridge is narrow and has gradients in both directions. Motor vehicles cannot safely overtake cyclists when there is oncoming traffic. Due to poor sight lines, motor vehicles cannot safely overtake even if their path appears clear. High boundary walls and no verge make cyclists extremely vulnerable to injury or death if impacted or blown off course by fast moving vehicles. Some impatient drivers overtake recklessly without any regard for the safety of vulnerable users. No problem with this careful driver. Many drivers routinely exceed the national speed limit of 30 miles per hour.
How fast is this car going? Some drivers shout out of side windows to intimidate. Use this side door route! Unlike the authorities' fictitious map, there is no direct or safe way to access the cycle route from the carriageway at the Flandidno Junction end of the cob. Cyclists can only continue on the carriageway and negotiate the heavily trafficked roundabout. Beyond the roundabout, there is no access to cycle route 5. Cyclists must stay on the A546 all the way to Deganwy or exit the A546 further on and backtrack along Glanamore Road. Alternatively, stay on the A547 towards Flandidno Junction. All experienced cyclists know the hazards of busy roundabouts. The authority's clueless and dangerous option expects riders to reconnect to the cycle routes by dismounting on the carriageway at a point where there is a gap, a bus length long, between the crash barriers occupied by a shelter. Then carry their bikes, tricycle, tandem or bike with trailer, over a raised curb. On a typical working day, 110 buses are timetabled to use the bus stop, one on average every 7 minutes between 7am and 6pm. Some buses remain stationary for long periods to exchange drivers. Going back towards Pond, the cycle routes from Diganwi or Flandidno Junction have no direct connection onto the carriageway towards Conway notwithstanding the authorities' fictitious map. Cyclists are forced to use the heavily trafficked A546 or A547 and fly over roundabout. The authorities' lethal alternative expects cyclists to access the carriageway by carrying their bicycle, tricycle, tandem or bike with trailer over the raised curb onto the tarmac at bus stop X. Then wait directly in the path of buses arriving at stop X while attempting to cross three lanes of traffic. The sight line towards Conway is wholly inadequate. This video is in slow motion. As little as six seconds to impact. There is no refuge on the opposite side of the carriageway other than bus stop W, where 99 buses a day are scheduled to arrive and depart. The proximity to fast moving traffic coming off the roundabout without warning is immediate. The location is a cyclist's death trap. Those marooned at this treacherous place will use common sense and continue to Conway along the Cobb and Bridge footpath for personal safety. 
Cyclists on the Cobb carriageway towards Conwy cannot connect to Route 5 on the quay. The no right turn prohibition sign bans what would be a hazardous manoeuvre. Cyclists are trapped on the carriageway and can only double back after cutting across three streams of fast moving traffic while making a perilous U-turn at the mini roundabout. High curbs and no refuge make the pedestrian crossing inaccessible. All experienced cyclists are familiar with this type of abuse and hazard. For a cyclist, turning right is often perilous. This video is in slow motion. Experience for yourself a cyclist's eye view pedalling on the carriageway over the cob in various directions to both Deganwy and Llandidno Junction. Avoiding bus stop X, it's simply too dangerous to use. How about in the dark and rain? Trapped between a metal barrier and fast moving traffic. Finally,
highways, you have put up the signs, are you going to take responsibility for the likely consequences? The coroner's witness stand can be the loneliest place on earth.